It's the way we travel. Contactless, ticketless, almost mindless. It's how Londoners get around town. But there's a problem. Not quite everywhere is ticketless. If you want to get to Stansted Airport, the contactless barriers will let you through. But confusingly, you have to get a ticket. Tapped in at Liverpool Street. Rory Boyle is a Stansted Express passenger who made this expensive mistake. I thought everything was fine. I'd done the right way of payment. And then when I got on the train, a ticket checker was checking tickets, obviously, and fined me £100 for my journey. But that was more than my flights cost. What was even more frustrating is that it's not very obvious that you're not supposed to tap in and you're meant to buy a paper ticket. ITV News decided to film our journey to the airport, posing as a contactless customer. Although we did buy a paper ticket to make sure we didn't break the law. We then set off from Liverpool Street, walking past signs about no contactless payments that could be easily missed in a hurry. But the Stansted Express barriers let us in anyway, and we board the train. On this journey, we don't meet any ticket inspectors while travelling to Stansted. The next stop will be Stansted Airport. As passengers get off, they're greeted with something rarely seen in London these days. A small army of ticket inspectors dressed in red. And this is just one of many exits at the train station. A long queue has already formed to get past them. At another exit, I see the first passengers stopped for having tapped in in London. And then you can appeal it. I then join a queue at yet another exit, posing as a contactless passenger. I'm stopped. Contactless is only valid if you are travelling in the London zones. Okay. You're not actually in the London zone at this moment okay. in time. You've travelled outside. The pretty easily. Yeah, you would be able to. So you can tap to get through the barriers. But on each of the barriers, we have little notices that say that you can't use contactless or oyster to come to the airport. If you do, it becomes a penalty fare at this end. Okay. The rail staff badges read authorised collector, and they're backed up by enforcement officers dressed in police colours to make sure no one gets through without paying. As a passenger, it feels intimidating. And during gaps when no trains from London came in, the ticket checks appeared to stop completely. It's £71.90 because if it's paid today or within 21 days, it's reduced to £50, the £100. So that's the price of the ticket plus £50. At this point, I reveal that I do have a paper ticket. But other passengers did get fines. I think it's completely stupid because, um, I mean, we didn't know because usually we usually travel by the use of the contactless and all of a sudden we just got there and they're telling us to pay that. So it's ridiculous. Others didn't want to be filmed, but the sentiment was the same. I feel cheap as well. I think it's ridiculous. London's transport watchdog say they get lots of complaints about the Stansted Express fines. For some reason, Stansted Airport is still an outlier. Uh, we know that Gatwick it does accept, Heathrow Airport does accept contactless and Oyster Card. So really it's something we need the industry to sort out. No one from Greater Anglia who run the Stansted Express was available to talk to us. But in their statement, they said there's lots of signage informing passengers that there is no contactless option. Adding, we're keen to see the extension of contactless ticketing to Stansted Airport as that would simplify the position and be more convenient for customers. Government has the ultimate say in this, and while the Department for Transport say they're committed to extending pay-as-you-go, there's still no date when Stansted will be included. I think a lot of the people who are getting these fines, unfortunately, aren't trying to evade fares. They do genuinely think that they can tap in their contactless card. And so it does seem very unfair in the cost of living crisis that that's what's happening to people every single day of the week trying to get to Stansted. The train operator keeps the money from the fines. And when we asked, they refused to give us any information on how much they make from the penalty fares. But by the amount of fined passengers, the rollout of contactless payment needs to happen soon. Well, Rags joins me now. And quite a confusing situation for passengers, Rags, especially when the airport's name is London Stansted.
That's right, Ronke. Stansted prides itself on being a London airport. It calls itself London Stansted. As we saw in our report, when it comes to trains, though, the inspector told us it's not in the London zone. But this has been an issue for more than a decade. Stansted was asked to go contactless back in 2012 for the London Olympics. And this afternoon, the mayor of London stepped in to say that Stansted needs to be more like other London airports. The new head of Stansted is a senior member of uh, TfL formerly. We're hoping they make people more aware about contactless, uh, about using Oyster, so they can take advantage of the fares reductions we have. Well, I think the key thing is for Stansted to make their customers uh, aware in relation to Oyster, in relation to contactless uh, payment. If Gatwick and Heathrow can do it, why can't Stansted? Well, we did ask uh, Stansted Express about the number of fines they give out. They didn't want to give that to us, saying it was commercially sensitive. But the latest figures available show that 16,000 people were fined in one year. That was back in 2019. And by our estimate, that works out to one and a half million pounds in fines. And on social media, a Stansted Express passenger got in touch to say, as a tourist, it's totally unclear. I did not realise I did something wrong. Officers were fine just doing their job, but it felt like a trap. But if Stansted really wants to be a London airport, it needs to operate its trains like the rest of the capital's trains. Rags Martel, thank you very much.